Welcome to Hummingbird 2.2.417. All right, this is our brand new version. When Hummingbird first starts up, uh, after you go to uh, in actually open it up and run, you'll see that there's going to be a license screen in which you'll have to put in your license. After you put in your license, this is what you should see. This front page right here is very important because this will tell you any new updates or anything that we're having. So like today's the 17th and yes, we have a new update uh, for the program that fixes something else that was going on. So this home button here will actually take you always back to this front page. This is your refresh button. And then for the sign in, what you do is first you're going to add your Twitter accounts, right? So you type in your username, password, and then you're going to click on add. It will add it down here. If you change your login information or, or something's going on here and you want to re add in the username and password because you've changed the password, you can simply highlight uh, whatever account it is, right click on it, click on delete. And then what will happen is, is then it will just remove it from there so you can put the information back in. If you're having trouble logging in, this is the first thing that I would do is I would actually first check to make sure that your account is active and okay, and that your login information is good. And then I would delete the information here, put it back in, and then add it. Simply close on X and that will we'll, uh, save it. The next thing that you will do is you can, you'll go into your settings. Now in your settings, here is where you would add your user. We're updating this right at the moment so that you can put in your protected users. Your following rules. This is, uh, it starts with 400, but what I would do is I would move this down to uh, no more than 300. And I like to be a little more on the safe side with the account, so I'll run it around 200. Uh, and this is for every time that you log into the account, you can follow 200 people. This is the time delay. Now, uh, I've been experimenting with this, so you can actually set this down to uh, zero to one, or, or you know, you know, if you want to have a, a, a short delay in between the follows so it makes it look like you're uh, you're actually following uh, more like clicking on it, then you can play with this a little bit. If you're running into trouble uh, with your internet connection and stuff, then this would be nice to actually set it to where it follows just a little slower. Your unfollowing rules. Make sure that you have a check mark in only unfollow people who are not following me back. Right, and here's where you're going to put in the days to wait before unfollowing. Uh, I suggest anywhere between, uh, you know, three to five. Uh, the longer that you wait, the more opportunity you're giving somebody to actually follow you back. Under the general, auto sign in if you only have one account. So if you're only running one account, then just click it and, and Hummingbird will automatically just sign into that account. This here is going to, this controls the show real time updates will show the little um, pop ups that come up that's saying, hey, it's following or it's unfollowing or it's checking or it's doing whatever. Uh, you know, this is going to be one of your preferences when I'm actually using Hummingbird uh, and really going down through a lot. I'll take the check mark out of here so I won't see the pop ups. Uh, and then that way it can just run and I can see the whole page that's actually going. Uh, delay between deleting direct messages. I found that uh, this works better on one uh, and then, uh, you know, so that uh, it, it's good for a little timing thing. It's going to be a little shorter because of how, uh, or it's going to be a little longer than it used to be because of how Twitter has made it to where you have to actually uh, have a, a button come up. And so there has to be a little bit of a delay in there for that. Uh, don't delete direct messages from protected users, right? And then this one definitely for your licensing where you can just put in your license. All you do is click on the X, you've saved it. Now you can go in and we can actually go to uh, the actual account itself. See it automatically signs in, <clears throat> goes down through. Now you can, there's our pop-up. 
It says it's been signed in. Now down here is going to tell us what it's actually doing. So you want to really kind of pay attention to that. So the first thing is, is always click on followers. See if I have any followers to follow, uh, in which I do. You can, uh, you can actually see them here, right? And then I'm going to just click on follow all. Then what it does is, is it just goes through here to make sure that it, it follows people back. Now you can see down here, it says following. When this is saying that it's doing something, all of these settings you cannot mess with except you can do hide. And then hide will actually take it and move it down into your, your quick start and your hidden uh, icons so that it's not there and, and not bothering you. All right, so it's still going through and it's searching for the following. I like this because here you can cancel at any time. I know that there isn't a, a, a bunch of followers here, so it follows four people. And you can see down here now it says idle. Now here, for cleaning up the DMs, so here's the, the direct messages that comes up, and now it's going to just start cleaning them. So this takes just a little bit longer because of how this has to work because it actually has to trigger this thing so that it can go in and, and see a delete. And there's a little bit of delay there. And there it goes. Now it's starting to delete it. I've been experimenting with uh, one and with two and, and three in the different times and stuff. And I find that one works really nice and, and it's not too bad. And Normally, uh, you would just have this moved off or you would hide it or, or whatever and, and just let Hummingbird to go down through and, and to do that. And here we go. It should do this last one. And when it does, there it goes. It's gone. And now it's going to actually uh, wait for a second. Then it's going to click the X and you'll notice down here where it says that it'll be idle again. So this has to run right off from uh, Twitter's website itself. So sometimes there can be like slow delays or, or you know, and depending on how responsive it is and everything. But it's, it's waiting right at the moment. It's going to click it. Let's see. There it goes. All right. Now. So I've followed people back. I can click on my home button here. It takes me back to my, my front page. And then what you do is you take a look. So you got uh, on this account, it's 2025. All right. It tells me how many it's cleaned up. Now you know why I, I, I kind of get rid of that. And it says uh, 1874. So we're looking at the margin. Can I actually follow more people? Uh, you could if you want. Uh, I, the fastest and easiest way for me is is I just look for someone here who oh, it doesn't matter. I just click on someone. All right. So this person has thirteen uh, eight ten for followers, and I can simply click on followers right here. It takes me right to their account and watch. This is going to light right back up again. And now I can click on follow all and it just starts uh, following right down that list. So now you can see it's changed. It says following and see and it, it's just now going right down through and, and following. Now I can stop this at any time. It cancels, it stopped, it followed 13 users just that fast. All right. And now I can go back to my home. All right. I can go to people I'm following. And I can actually now just click on unfollow all. And what it will do is it's going to. That's right. They put that into where it will actually go to your, your page now. See, and it says we just follow that person. So we're going to ignore them. Right, and we're going to move on. All right, and now I, it'll actually start just following, unfollowing back. So I'm going to click cancel because it's really quite that simple. And there is something that you should be aware of here. So anytime that you click up here and you click home and you go back, 
right? And you're going, okay, I want to log into a different account. So I sign in, I go to log back in, right? And notice down here, it says it's whatever, Shanini, okay? But it did not log me into the new account. The reason being is it was not actually on a, a Twitter account. So I can go back in again, watch, and then I'll click on uh, Lydia, and it will log me out. And then it go and log me in, so now I can move in. So anytime that you go back to another page or, or you're doing something, uh, right at the moment, you, we, we made it to where uh, you're not going to be able to type in here and actually go into a, a lot of different things because uh, we thought it would be a little nicer. But you can go back, you can click on home, and then remember here you can contact us directly, right? Uh, we're right online there, or you can send us an, an email. If I if we don't answer, uh, you'll get an email. Here we'll take you to your support. You can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, this takes you to the blog, right? And so, and it makes it really nice because you can simply click on it, and then you're right back there, right? Uh, we don't have a back button at the moment, but if you right click and then click on back, it'll take you right back there. Um, we're working on a brand new program uh, that will uh, be very Twitter compliant and it's going to allow you to do uh, massive search functions and, and really uh, and use the API. So uh, it's going to, uh, we're hoping that we'll have that released in roughly around a month. Uh, and so this is our, uh, our current version that's going up. It's, it's really that simple on how to kind of use it. Um, and if you do it, remember, I would uh, really pay attention to these settings here, right? And unfollowing, I'd keep it to 200, uh, no more than 200 a day for, for unfollowing and make sure you have a, a delay in there. Uh, and for the following rules, again, two to 300, uh, you know, to follow. And, and you can play with the timing and you can kind of have some fun there. Experiment, find out how it's going, uh, and enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email at hb, that stands for hummingbird, at docmagi.com.